Okay, uh, today I want to go over the process for setting your flat fab file up for output to laser cutting. Okay, so let's start first. There's a series of steps that we'll go through, and I'll probably break this up over smaller videos so that we can um, take them in uh, little by little. But let's start uh, first. We're going to go into guides. And one of the first thing that you want to do is to set the thickness of your material. And since we're using E-Flu cardboard, it's 0.06, but I found that that's a little proud, so we're going to make it 0.05. Okay. The next step is that we want to take uh, and dimension our object. And it's going to be relative to the size of one of our parts. And you can only click and dimension across the part. So I'm going to click on my dimensioning tool here, and I'm going to click on this part right here. I'm going to stretch a line across it like so. And that line is going to set the scale for the rest of my model. And so there I'm going to make the size of the model at that point 10 inches. Okay. And that sets the scale of my uh, model. Okay. Uh, and so now the in the next step what I want to do, and we can take a look at our model in perspective. And so right now... Uh, it's dimensioned the thickness at uh, 0.06, okay? So now, what we want to do next is come over here to uh, File, and we want to save the uh, SVG for fabrication, okay? And we're going to use the defaults that is provided here at 72 DPI for the default on there. And we're going to set this, since example 24 by 12, the ratio is 2, we're going to change that ratio to 4 because our laser bed is uh, 24 by 48. Okay, so we're going to click OK. And do you want uh, numeric labels to appear in the file? And we're going to say yes. Okay, and we're going to save the SVG file. Okay, we're going to save that SVG file. Okay, and now we're finished with FlatFab. I'd also save a copy. I'd come over here and do a file, save, and I would save a copy of the, uh, save the FlatFab in order to save that so that you have a copy of that. Okay, just so you want to come back in here. So now we're ready to leave uh, FlatFab, and we're we're finished at this point. In the next part of the tutorial, we're going to go into Illustrator, and we're going to use Illustrator as a pass-through to create a DXF file for our um, uh, for our uh, model that we're going to set up for laser cutting. Note that the units are set to inches. This becomes very important in the next step, that we want to make sure that those units are set up to um, inches in this case, or if you prefer, millimeters, because you're going to have to be consistent across the work as you do that. But this completes the work that we need to do in FlatFab. Remember, we want to save the file in SVG format, since that seems to work best in terms of maintaining the scale as we translate and bring it into Rhino for formatting.